Welcome everyone, this is Master's Joke, also Master's Joke 75 on Instagram. So uh, after going to the um, Film and Sci-Fi Museum in Milton Keynes on Friday and seeing all those wonderful Star Wars uh, vintage and, and new toys, it got me thinking, I'd I better open up my uh, Rogue One Antoc Merrick X-Wing. So I mean, I picked this up, I think it was early last year, £55.99 from Zavi, let your eyes be your guide. I think what got me was seeing the um, seeing the original X-wing mould. The uh, I, can't I bought one in 1999, but it's the the Luke Skywalker Red Five Special Effects Power of the Force X-wing, um, which has um, it has uh, little clips from the actual A New Hope uh, movie. Uh, and I actually, I absolutely love that, but it's that's stuck in the loft. I need to get that out. But seeing that, I thought, you know, it's about time. I need to make time to open this, and uh, and I want to display it as well. So um, I, I absolutely love the box. I mean, I do think it is strange that um, that Hasbro have actually used the same mould from 1990, well, 1999, which is when I picked up the original. Yeah, you would have thought they would have made um, changes to it, similar to the uh, Poe Dameron's um, Orange X-Wing, which I think, which again I've got and I haven't opened yet, which I think is fantastic. But yeah, I mean, I, I just, what I like about this one, I just love, well, you get, number one, you get a figure with it, and I love Antoc Merrick, so um, I did a review on him, I think a while ago, so I got the Black Series Antoc Merrick from, um, I think it was from, where did I pick this one up from? Star Action Figures, I think. Oh yeah, Star Action Figures, £12.99. Still available, let your eyes be your guide. Really, really good figure. Um, but yeah, I, I think this is a lovely set. And I do like the colouring, which is one of the reasons why I picked up the Poe Dameron, you know, the basic um, Star Wars toys from the uh, sequels. And they uh, Poe Dameron, they had, um, they had the black X-Wing with the orange um, markings. And also from the beginning of the film, The Force Awakens, the white X-Wing with the blue markings. So I recently picked up the, uh, the one with the blue markings. Um, perfect condition, all boxed. I think that was at the NEC Toy Fair for like, I think it was like 20 pounds. And that's on the wall. But you know, I really do like the colouring. So, um, and I also do like the Rogue One film. So I'm gonna get this opened up. But yeah, the box is, I think the box is lovely. It's a shame there's not, it's a shame they don't do something special on the back, but I suppose it's similar to the uh, vintage collection figures. Um, you know, they, I don't know, sometimes they don't, I mean, the, the picture's lovely, but sometimes they don't make, in my opinion, enough effort. And I do love the fact that this is in um, Yavin 4, because you can tell by the actual, uh, the walls in, in the back of the picture. And then you've got Chopper as well, who's obviously in, a, <laughs> in the upcoming, uh, Ahsoka series. So uh, I'm just gonna get my uh, my blade from the uh, pound store. So I mean, the first thing I want to see is if the Anton Merrick figure is, well, in one piece. So there he is. There he is on the actual uh, bottom of the box. It's looking all right at the moment. So the moment of truth. Yeah, that's perfect. Look at that, that's a wonderful car back. I love that. It's not, it's not bad card stock. It seems, it seems okay. Perfect condition, absolutely love this figure. Yeah, let your eyes be your guide. That, he's, he's definitely going, going on the wall. I don't think I will open him. And uh, yeah, cause this is, this is VC2. 204 so it's this is quite an old quite an old release and I think I think I've got most of the uh, figures on this wave 
apart from I never got I never bought a child because <laughs> I just didn't think it was worth the money I don't, don't get me wrong I do like Grogu but I didn't I wasn't bothered about the actual figure and I don't have the Ahsoka figure either um, although I think I'm sure Star Action figures are selling Ahsoka for $9.99 but um, I want to, do I have the, yeah, I've got the off-world Jawa. But yeah, lovely figure. So I look forward to displaying that in the uh, the old toy room. Lovely image on there. But let's get back to, uh, <laughs> let's get back to why you called. And it's uh, this, uh, this beautiful X-Wing X -wing here. So I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to get this open, set up, and we'll have a proper look. And this is what we're dealing with. So it took me two minutes to set up and um, I mean the first thing I noticed and I've, I've had a lot of criticism about this is the the issue with the the wings they never sit flush with with each other which which is a shame which was one of the problems you had on the uh, on the original <laughs> on the original original version but um, this is this is this is a nice touch I do like the uh, the way that the, the the landing gear there's a little door where it now goes so i like that i think that's a nice touch because on my original one it's yeah you just pulled it up and down so that's that's a nice little touch so that just shuts like that uh the missile this again this is i like this so the missile goes in there uh so that, <laughs> that's where your, your actual missile is and again i like that that's a nice little touch same different same mold but same different uh, the landing gear at the back is the same as the uh, original where you just kind of pull that down and then you've got a little place for I don't know what your little guns and bits and pieces which is nice I always like a little <laughs> I always like compartments on my ships which is probably why I love the uh, the uh, battle droid transport so much I think that's it I think that's a great ship and yeah, the, the mechanism for the wings is exactly the same as back in the day. So, so that just yeah, that just comes across like that. So yeah, I, I, I like it. I'm really glad I picked it up. Um, inside the actual cockpit, let's, let's pull the landing gear back down at the front. So I can stand it up properly. Turn it around. So let's have a look inside the, the actual cockpit. So how does that open? Oh, that's a bit stiff. So this, this bit comes out so you can sit him down. It's quite well detailed. Very, very similar to the uh, special effects. Um, edition. I can't remember what my because my other uh, X-wing. I can't remember what pilot it is. I got it from Toys R Us. I'm going to dig it out. I'm going to dig it out the loft and see uh, see what it is. But very detailed in there. I really like it. I really think they've uh, done well. No stickers. I can't remember if I had to put stickers on the uh, FX one. But I like the um, I like the paint applications on there. I like the detailing. The, the Star Wars wording as well. Don't know if you can see that next to the uh, next to the arrow. I think it is really, really nice. Lovely weathering as well. Let your eyes be your guide. I think definitely worth definitely worth fifty five pounds ninety nine. Uh, only thing missing on the um, not so much on the Toys R Us release that I got, but on the uh, uh, special effects you you had similar to the original release back in back in the uh, 70s you had like r2d2 um, on top of the actual x-wing it was just his head uh, but obviously you've got room to put your own uh, your own droid there so I've got Antok Merrick's droid but I've got him on card because he was quite he's quite expensive so I've got just to just to see what it looks like i've got my my <laughs> my disney droid from the uh, pride collection and i thought i'd just stick him in there just for the moment just to finish it off 
a bit bright maybe, but oh, I think it I think it does the job. I think oh, I absolutely love this. Let your eyes be your guide, highly recommended. Definitely worth picking up. Because I love I love the ships. But I've got, I've got I've got to display them. That's what I need to uh that's what I need to do. So I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna pop up in the loft and get my other <laughs> get my other toys toys out of there, definitely. That looks great, really happy. But anyway, that is the end of the videos. It's been <laughs> it's been a while since I opened up a well, it's not really that long, because I suppose the last uh, the last Star Wars action figure I opened up was the Pride collection. But um yeah, I want to get back to opening up some Star Wars. I think I've done enough um I think I've done enough uh, <laughs> Doctor Who and FNAF. But anyway, that's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, please don't forget to like and subscribe. It lets me know you care. And uh, I'll see you in the next one.